Hey, it's Tiana again from Tree Shepherds, a full service tree care company in North Texas. In the last video, we talked about how to evaluate the stress of your trees or determine the health of them. In this video, we're gonna talk about overall tree care, particularly mulching and composting. Let's get started. One of the first misconceptions is where you should water. It's not so important to water the tree right at the base here, especially on established trees. It's much more important to go a little bit farther out where those more important water absorbing roots are. Secondly, is how long and how much you should water. It's important to water deeply, but infrequently. Most people over water. So it's a good rule of thumb to water for 45 minutes to an hour, no more than twice a week. To achieve that watering recommendation, you can either use several hundreds of these, or you can buy one of those sprinkler attachments from a garden center that waters nice and slow, just for that duration of 45 minutes to an hour. Or if you have a sprinkler system and want more specifics on that, check out one of our other videos. One important consideration that people often overlook, especially in urban areas, is soil health. In urban areas, we tend to rake leaves away and we get rid of all of that natural organic material that trees typically get in forested areas. So it's a good idea to get on a deep root fertilization program or a tree fertilization program. At Tree Shepherds, we inject primarily organic materials with some growth products that are specifically oriented towards trees. Um, and we just do that about that far into the soil, just pumping that organic material in there, feeding the healthy microbes in the soil that encourage root growth. The do-it-yourself homeowner version is to compost. And so that's just laying a half inch to an inch layer of compost in the root zones of your trees. And that adds organic material over time, same as that fertilization program will do. Um, it's best to do it in the fall and spring as a good rule of thumb, but really anytime you want to apply compost to your soil, it's going to help your trees. First, I'd like to talk about the difference between mulch and compost. Mulch is actually a term used for rocks or rubber mulch or bark mulch, things that cover the soil for aesthetic value. The added benefit of bark mulch or any kind of natural mulch is that it's going to break down over time and add nutrients to the soil. But other common uses of mulch is moisture retention and insulation, where your compost here is, it doesn't matter what kind of compost you get, but what matters is that it's very broken down. You can't really tell what the parent material is. You're not seeing any of those barky chunks like you do here with the mulch. Um, it should almost look like soil. And it, what it is, is it's just further broken down organic material, and it's ready to go nutrients for the soil. But I'll go more into depth as to what you use compost for. When applying compost, it's important to get the compost on what's called the critical root zone of the tree, which is just outside the drip line or canopy of the tree. And when applying, don't overthink it. It's not rocket science. You just kind of scatter it on the ground as a top dressing. And you can use a shovel, a spreader, or just your hand. And all you want to do is about a half inch to an inch layer on the soil. I'd like to go over a couple do's and don'ts when mulching trees. Um, one of the first ones and most common ones I see is whenever people put mulch right up against the trunk or the root flare of the tree. I expressed in an earlier video that it's really important to keep that base of the trunk and root flare exposed to oxygen. Um, so keeping that away from that woody tissue, just a little bit of a ways. And then the second thing I see most commonly is over mulching. So creating a really, really high layer of mulch and it's right up against the tree and it, that it's commonly called volcano mulching is the extreme version of it. It's really not great for your tree because what you're doing over time is that mulch breaks down and turns into soil and then your tree is just reburied. All you really need is two to three inches of mulch spread out about two feet away from the trunk and that's all there is to it. Now that you know some important ways to take care of your trees, remember if you ever need any help, to contact Tree Shepherds for an arborist consultation. If you like the content in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
And if there's any other topics you're interested in hearing about, go ahead and add them to the comments.